Peter got the hairiest leg one one moment a few years back, but then he decided to cut him off because he was already good. Uh, depends what I have to do. I think I probably they asked for a record. It was around 100, 100 and something. But I never get, I never went too too much. I never tried the uh, one RP to see what what I can really squat. I can do. I did one time with a leg press, 400 kilos. Maybe yes. Maybe there are there are a few of them into the pro peloton. That, that's really like you need you need the engine to be a pro cyclist. So put it this way. Somehow your genetics should be should be there. Uh, best training is sprinting against someone else. So if you have a mate, training mate, you just do like you know two three sprints during the day. Uh, then you do some gym session to to improve your strength and your power, and maybe some sprint behind the motor from the motorbike so or from a downhill so to simulate a little bit the speed of the race. No one, no one. For the moment, no one. Peter got the hairiest leg one one moment a few years back, but then he decided to cut him off because he was all injured. Uh, probably one of the classics. One well, maybe one race I really like, but probably I cannot win is Stradivari. Rabbit with Polenta. Um, what else? Deer. Actually, it's more from my from my home region, so like uh, you know, mountains, animals, even fish. When you go on fish. You can have really, really good meals, and then there are a lot of kind of pasta that people really don't uh, don't know, like capelletti brodo, like uh, ravioli, and uh, actually uh, risotto. All the kinds of risotto are really good, and, and even if you go with the meat, when you go with in Toscany for for a big steak, or if you come uh, somewhere else for cinghiale, not a road bike actually. Uh, I, I really love mountain bike and, and even the cross bike because I, I did cyclocross for a long time and about like what I like to watch it's more cyclocross than, than road racing. Like off-road is something I really like. Maybe the, the stage I won the tour alone in Gap. That was quite nice. There are some but a time with cycling language is good picked up. Nobody, nobody actually say in any, there is no other world. Ah, uh, many riders, uh, especially in the last few years. I think the average, average level of the peloton is so high that you cannot, you cannot pinpoint only one person. No, and luckily for me, it's too hard. Yeah, I was not that like <laughs> third time work, but it wasn't me the third time. <laughs> uh, when I'm training, actually, my favorite food is when we stop in the bar and we take whatever is there that looks cool. Like a sliced cake uh, or a sandwich, uh, or uh, especially here in Liguria, they have a really good focaccia. Uh, living in Monaco, I train a lot with uh, with Philippe Chimbert, and I train a lot also with uh, with Iero Coia and Bonifacio, that they are also close by. Yeah, as I said before, it's probably Strada Bianca. It's a race that actually it's a race where I, I really get to the sofa and, and to watch it. 